Hello everybody and welcome to episode 14 of the Trophy Tour. As you saw in the last episode, my live comm against Copenhagen was almost a rousing success, but we ended up losing by four goals to three. But those three away goals will have to count for something in tonight's second leg. Um, we just need to score a goal and hopefully keep them at bay. And uh, we'll go through to the Champions League group stages, which would be mon monumental for such a club like ours. And uh, as the league goes, we are back in the hunt after a 2-1 uh, victory against uh, SV Riyadh. Uh, Austria Vienna dropped points and Red Bull Salzburg overtook half the field to take second place. So here's what happened. Uh, Manu was there to, s to save us uh, from blushes at half time. An early goal conceded from a set piece. But thankfully our domination counted for something as Lucas Rodpuller scored from a cross after a corner was cleared. And uh, we avenged that injury to Domajoy Antolic who was out for three months due to a hip injury. And... Uh, our finances remain fairly stable, I believe. I'll just have a double check. Yeah, they're okay. We could do better, but uh, we have some sort of guaranteed uh, cash influx due to European football. But uh, just bear in mind that uh, Red Bull, Austria and Rapid have all got European commitments as well. So if they get bogged down like they did last season while trying to commit to several tournaments, that is where our best chance lies to defending our title. So... Uh, I wouldn't count us out yet, but hopefully they all get through to the Europa League group stages and I get through the Champions League. So there we go. Uh, Austria Vienna have uh, beaten Partizan 1-0 at home. Rapid Vienna beat Vitesse, beat Vitesse 2-0. And Red Bull Salzburg also won their game. They're on a good winning streak. They beat Antorossi by a uh, single goal. So big, big game for us if ever I've seen one. Uh, we'll just head into the game now. And... Uh, yeah, so hopefully we all get all the top four teams have European commitments. It would make the title race very interesting, depending how far we all get. So it's the sta is similar starting 11 to our last game. The only change is Omrani for Weber, as Weber had a very uh, difficult game. But uh, it's going to be another high-scoring game. Titan is still unfit. And we have uh, Grazze, who has to put in the big effort to uh, get us that Champions League football. Um... I don't know how to deal with um, oh, FC Copenhagen recently. They got a 1-0 draw against second place to uh, soften your back. I'm not too sure how to pronounce them, but uh, hopefully that will take some of their momentum away. They're rather tired. They committed a lot of bodies to that uh, league game. It was very important for them. Uh, Adi and Leke James both had good games, so we're going to take, take them uh, down a peg, hopefully. So uh, apparently we're the favourites. I wouldn't look too much into that. It's going to be a very even game. And uh, we're going to try the short play. Uh, it it kind of worked. And it didn't work against Riot. So hopefully with our best players we can indeed win the game with our tactics. So passionately. Um, so of course my favourite tactic is now say if we lose the last game let's get revenge. Let's give them a game. And let's hope for many more goals for our team against Copenhagen. Uh, the famous Danish team and uh, yeah deep breath guys this is it will we get the Champions League football at long long last here we go my third season of trying and certainly hopefully will be my last as I want to leave the club at some stage here we go this is it come on Stern Grats uh, we want to change it to a direct cast plasma lay on are you? suit yourself there you go Okay. How are the stats thus far? Are we comfortable? We kind of are, but we need to create some chances. Come on, who wants to get in this game? Come on. Come on. Here we go. This is Copenhagen on the ball. Omrani with an interception. Here's Roman Bestjak. Oh, hard luck. Vujadinovic given to Fella. Jurchen. Jurchen goes wide. Best Jack! 1 0 to Stormgratz. 4 4 in aggregate. And we have the away goals, of course. Roman Best Jack in command up front yet again. Brilliant from the uh, Slovenian. Is he the long term successor 
to Robert Deric. What a goal. It was an easy cross for Jurchen, to be honest. He didn't close them down. And now we could have half time in control. Given away. Jurchen. Omrani. Bestjak. Can you pass? Clem! Oh, what a save. The flares are lit. And Vujanovic corner uh, yet again. And Esposito. Vujanovic, no! It's cleared again. Clem. Oh, Omrani with a scissors kick. It's wide and into the home crowd there. Unlucky. Remu Mali has been yellow carded, so a bit of problem for our defenders. They can't afford a red card, but well done, guys. Well done. Just 45 minutes to go. If we concede twice, we're out. If we concede once, we'll uh, have to get another goal. So um, we need to get that momentum bouncing off the radar. Come on, lads. Give this to the fans. We really could use Champions League football. Um, if I don't want to uh, tempt fate like I did in the last game, but if I do get group stage football, uh, I'll probably live, ca live com at, at most three of the games, unless the fourth one is against a marquee team. We'll give the home and away le games there. But I don't want to take too long live coming all the Champions League. But if you guys really, really want, you can override that decision. But I just want to get through this season and enjoy our time at Sturm Graz just for one more season. I want to try and get to a new team as soon as possible. So this is good. No highlights to provide you so far. Uh, we're going to take off Amrani. We're going to take him off and give it to Weber. Um, that's all right. Um, I really would like to take off Mali. But he looks uh, a lot fitter and then Vujadinovic, but he's having a better game. So uh, I'll leave them, see how they do. Um, actually, no, I'll give Stuart O'Keefe a go. I'll give Stuart O'Keefe his, uh, his chance. Um, yeah, let's give him a go. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So hopefully Stuart will relish his chance to make a difference in our... Uh, so they've made a change as well. Is it for a striker? Is it for a striker? Let's find out. I need to target anybody who threatens our position. It's a... Uh, I think it's the defender. Is it? Who's the fittest? Um, Alright. I can't really tell who came on for them. Uh, I'll check here, actually. Oh, it's a defender. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's not get cocky. He could uh, do a Vijadinovic and score a half-trick. Uh, we seem comfortable but we'll make the remaining changes uh, very boring second half but I don't care we are hopefully going to make it Karashik has a big responsibility on his shoulders and uh, alright Abba Rachin for Weber we'll play Weber now he'll be perfect uh, we'll make him the deep line playmaker uh, defensive winger okay that should do come on guys you've done so well I don't want to screw it up but oh well of all the people to get hurt it is Aberachin so he's off for a nice earned break and here we go could this wrap it up it can't it can't actually it's an own goal by Hussein and we are going to the Champions League almost certainly now it's a hard luck story, but Copenhagen have not been good enough on the night. It's Sturm Graz, the Blackies, who will be celebrating a massive, massive series of games to potentially change our history. Unless there is a remarkable comeback on Hussein, cleared by Esposito. And now Hussein tries again, Bengston. Vela was offside, surely he was offside, but the assistant doesn't care. Here's Esposito, through ball to Jurchen, 3-0! Game, set and match. And again, Sturm Graz have come up trumps in the second leg. And if we don't deserve Champions League football now, 
you can forget about it. I don't want to hear it. Jensen! Oh, he could have made it four. He could have done it again. Exposito cleared by the center back, I believe. Two minutes of stoppage time, all over. Copenhagen are out. Sturm Graz are through to the Champions League group stages. A sensational performance for the full 90s. We've put three goals past our opponents and none conceded. So we're back on track. This is our moment. And, well, I have to probably kick myself for wanting to leave when we were on this high. I wanted someone else to do it. I don't know why on hindsight. But, my God, this is fantastic. We have the Champions League. And it was a stunning performance by everyone involved. Jurchen and Bestjak are on the score sheet. Exposito, or Esposito, I like saying Esposito. Uh, they got the assist. And Karashik uh, also provided an assist. I thought he'd missed from two yards. But we dominated. We are going to the Champions League. And Benfica turned it around against Evian. Milan survive. And Real Sociedad go out. So... Uh, Bate needed penalties against Videoton as well. My goodness me. Um, so there are the other results. There's the Champions playoff. The other games haven't been decided yet. But there we go. We are through. We've overturned the first leg defeat. Cool as you like. And yes, there we go. And um, I wonder how much money we're going to get. But we're going to be paying attention to the live draw which will be coming up in just a moment. And, uh, right, so let's just do this press conference before we move on. Uh, there we go. Okay, so stay tuned. The big, big Champions League draw is coming up. I know you've probably enjoyed a lot of series with the Champions League, such as FM Evolution and Waterford United. But, uh, Let's just see how we do. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, pretty much stay and get eliminated on zero points or whatever. But uh, let's just enjoy this moment and uh, see what the future brings. Okay, so great news. We've received 8.6 million euros to uh, bolster our finances. Absolutely magnificent. That's more than 100% of the profit. We've pretty much uh, doubled our money. And to think just a few seasons ago, I had a transfer budget of 50,000 euros, which I used to buy Danny Castellano. And we saw a lot of good players that would have been extremely useful to us to get here. But we've done it on my terms. We've bought very wisely. And this is a moment that the fans will probably relish. We have the big Champions League group, group uh, draw coming up. I've now got a transfer budget of 2.14 million, even though I asked just the day before, can I change the budget? And they said no. So I don't know what the heck is going on there. Is that a bit of a glitch or what? Uh, right. I, I don't know what is going on. So, yeah, all right. He won't give us, a, the chairman won't give us a new uh, transfer budget. Uh, I'm going to try one more time. No, I'm not allowed to get any more coaches. Um, and I'll ask this. Uh, all right, yeah, so the chairman is very frugal. He probably doesn't realize we have so much money, but uh, that's never, that's never mind. I just want to make this club as good as it can be. But now we have the dream of uh, Champions League football to rather. So plenty of amazing teams to look forward to playing. We have pretty much the worst seedings out of anybody. Um, in fact, uh, these guys, Zelchiusinar, the Bosnian team, have even worse, like just about barely any better seedings, so they must be making their debuts as well. And uh, just so many world-class teams to look forward to playing. Who will we get? So uh, let's just get the uh, top seeds out. Uh, there we go. So the holders are Paris Saint-Germain. They're in Group D. It would be very ironic if I played a French team, but we'll just see how it goes. Uh, group B, uh, s the second seeds are as follows. Spurs, Juventus, Leverkusen, Benfica, Man City, Zenit, Porto and Atletico. So Benfica saved their skin by winning 4-0 on the last leg. 
the third seeds are as follows. So there we go. Any group of deaths? Um, oh, group D, yeah, that look. Oh my God, group E as well. If we get that, I swear there's going to be very, very stressful moments. So there we go. This is the fourth seed draw. Now where we will play? Feyenoord, Sanatian, Dnipro. Oh, we get Group D. Oh, wow. We get to play the holders. Paris Saint-Germain, who I have plenty of history with in the Le Mans Odyssey. I also play Benfica and Inter Milan. And so the remaining teams, Celtic, Zahia Kinar, Fenerbahce and Monaco. So, my word, what a Champions League group we've received. Paris Saint-Germain, will they be the first team? We have to go to... Uh, their stadium first. I will be pretty scared. Uh, Laurent Blanc is in charge of them. Uh, let me see facilities. Yeah, so um, yeah, the Parc des Princes. So we have to go to Parc des Princes at some stage. And uh, the fixtures list hasn't been published yet. So uh, let's just see who we get first. We'll want to find out who it will be for the sake of our episode. And uh, the Europa League. We should be interested. In our Austrian compatriots, will they be receiving domestic, or, uh, I'm so bad with my words sometimes, will they be getting uh, uh, continent, uh, continental football as well? So, uh, yeah, we have been handed a tough group, and we have a big game against Wolfsburger, who are second in the league, um, third in the league, and uh, we'll have to give them the very best of our abilities as well, so... Wow, I'm so happy. It's just surreal. Uh, I would love to get a new right midfielder in to cover Exposito um, in case of injury, but I'm not getting a new chance for budget. The chairman doesn't like me in that regard. He pr should probably show a bit more appreciation of what I've done for this club. Uh, Austria Vienna have won. Uh, yeah, so we have the holders and the former champions... Inter and Benfica, so we're the only non-champions of the Champions League group in terms of past glory with all big ears. So, uh, mm. so there we go. Um, okay, so let's see what the Europa League has spawned just before we go. Uh, Europa League. So they're being drawn on the 28th, so uh, let's just see if any of our rivals manage to win. So I know Austria are going to win. I'll move on to Salzburg. Did they win their group? Oh, they won on away goals. Wow. They won their playoff. Uh, how did Austria win theirs? Just by the 2-1. And Rapid. Oh, they also won on away goals. My word. So, even though I was in the hardest game, I was the most convincing, to be honest. And uh, I'm just so pleased with the team. Uh, so, hopefully, Austria's uh, reputation will improve massively. But... Uh, that's all I need to say to you. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll speak again soon. Bye-bye.